So I received this card from eBay. I actually bought it from an eBay power seller who's got more than 99% feedback. Um, and like I always do, whenever I buy a card on eBay, um, I'll, I'll make sure it's authentic. I'll check it out first by hand, by feel. Oh, it feels okay. And this one actually feels really good. Um, I had no reason to think it was fake or counterfeit, but like I always do, uh, every time I buy a card, I use a jewelry loop just to confirm. And I expected this one to be real, but actually on closer examination, when I look through here, I'll show you in a minute what it looked like, but I could tell this is actually fake. And it's actually one of the best counterfeit fake cards I've actually ever received. And um, people should be aware even if there's a power seller on eBay who has more than 99% feedback, they could be selling you a fake card. So you should always look through a jeweler's loop just to be sure. And if I compare it to another card that's similar, I don't have actually another force of negation to check it against. Uh, you can see that these actually look really similar to authentic cards. So this is the authentic card on the right, the fake card on the left. Uh, you can see the hollow stamp looks pretty much the same. Uh, the glare, how the light reflects, is pretty much exact. As far as I can tell, coloring all looks pretty good. If I turn it over to the back side, this is where it's usually easiest to tell from the glossiness. Uh, but actually the reflectiveness of the card is almost exactly the same. Uh, between these two cards. I would say the one on the right is a little bit more glossy and the one on the left is a tiny bit more matte, but that's gonna uh, vary depending on the set. And uh, if I get another card over here, uh, this is just a, a little bit of an older one. If I compare this to the, uh, to the fake card, these are even more similar. So if you see the reflectiveness of the light, um, the matte or glossiness is pretty much identical and the coloring uh, is really good. I don't really see any difference in the coloring between these two cards. Uh, at least maybe it shows up on camera, but uh, to the naked eye, these look exactly, uh, exactly the same as far as I can tell. Uh, so the only way I figured out that uh, this card was fake was through a uh, jeweler's loop. And I'll show you ex exactly what I looked at and, and how I could tell this was fake uh, in a second. I'm actually gonna try to attach this to my phone with a uh, clamp to see if I can get a, a close-up view. Um, but just comparing like the font and everything, it's pretty much uh, identical. The mana symbols look pretty good under uh, the naked eye. Um, the only thing you can actually tell now that I look at it is the border is slightly different color. So if you check the, uh, the border here and here, if you compare those, the one on the left, the fake one, is actually a little bit more purple, purplish, and the one that's real is actually more blue. So that's one giveaway that uh, the left, uh, this one is, is fake. Uh, but other than that, I don't really see any difference. The hollow stamp looks the same. Um, so on close, close up without a, a magnifying glass or jewelry's loop, these look pretty good, or the fake one looks pretty good compared to the, the non-fake one. Coloring is a little bit different on these two cards, but uh, if I compare the back of this one, which is a little bit older, I don't see much difference, especially in this area. Uh, if we look up closely, they both look pretty close, but when you zoom in, things are a little bit different. And so uh, let me show you what it looks like when I zoom in with the uh, jeweler's loop. All right, now I got the jeweler's loop uh, attached to the camera, and I'll try not to shake too much and try to get into focus. Uh, the fake card is on the right, the real one is on the left. And now if you compare the uh, border, you can see that the border is uh, a lot bluer. So the border, what I'm talking about is right 
here, this purple. One is more purple than the other. And uh, the other thing I noticed is, uh, if I go back a little bit, is the straightness of the line between the black, uh, the black border of the card and the color of the card. If you can see, the top card is nice and straight. So the top card is nice and straight between the black border and the rest of the card, whereas the bottom card is more jagged. So there's like a jagged transition between the black border and the blue color. And so that's not apparent on the top card. The top card seems more straight. And that's the difference. And now if we look at the back, you can actually tell from the rosette pattern. Let me just flip these around. Uh, if we look specifically at the rosette pattern, try to get in focus. easier to look at the light part of the rosette pattern so you can tell the bottom card has these nice round rosette pattern try to get that into focus and if we compare that brown to this card the rosette pattern looks completely different. It's, uh, try to get these both in view at the same time. Yeah, there we go. So on the right, that is the real card. You can see the rosette pattern in the light brown is a lot different than that rosette pattern on the left. The one on the left is more blurry less defined, the one on the right, very round, very defined. And uh, even the rosette pattern above that in the, in the darker color is more defined on the right and less defined on the left. So that's how I could tell the one on the left is fake, which is forced negation. So I will show you the listing on eBay show you the user who's, who sold me this card. I did create an eBay ticket and got the card uh, refunded. And I plan on eventually destroying this, this fake proxy. I'm not gonna send it back so he can resend it to somebody else and rip them off. So biggest giveaway on this one is the coloring on the, on the border here is more purple on the bottom card than on the top card. And then when you look at it with a magnifying glass or a jeweler's loop, loop uh, you can see that the rosette pattern is different. Uh, the other thing is the light test. So the light test also showed that the card was, uh, this card was fake. Uh, let me show you that in a sec. All right, so this is a real card. This is what it looks like when you put a light through it. You can see some nice, like, tree bark looking stuff through the card. And this is how you can, this is a real card. And now if I compare that to the fake card, you can see almost no light makes it through. Very, very small amount, and it doesn't have that same tree bark uh, pattern on this one. So this one is uh, definitely fake. Again, the real one shows up like that. You can see light through it. You can see the pattern in the card. And this fake one in particular does not show the light through. So this one is uh, another test that fails on this card for being a fake. Uh, other than the light test and the uh, seeing the rosette patterns, the feel is basically perfect. I cannot tell the difference between on the feel and also the glossiness, uh, as I mentioned before. It's pretty much the same between this and, uh, and the real card. So uh, I'm going to show the, the user who sold me this card and so you can avoid him. 
and it is an, an eBay power seller who has more than 99% feedback, so you got to watch out even for those people. All right. So here's the purchase item on eBay, Force of Negation. This is the user who sold me the item. I'll go to his profile in a second, but first I want to show you what the pictures look like of the card. So if I try to zoom in here, you can tell it's kind of a blurry picture. You have uh, it's in two plastics, a hard plastic and a soft plastic, so it's hard to tell it's fake from these pictures. Sometimes I can tell by looking at the back, so if I look at the back of the card. Uh, sometimes you can tell from the rosette pattern on the back if it's a fake card, but this is kind of a blurry picture, so it's hard to tell. Uh, you can see the, the glossiness looks okay. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty blurry, and you can't tell from the rosette pattern if it's fake. So, um, yeah, I, I bought this card not knowing it was fake, but it was. So the listing doesn't say it's a proxy or anything. You can see uh, I bought it for $20, $24, pretty much. Um, description is just Modern Horizon. doesn't say proxy card or anything. And... Um, now if I go to the seller's information here, you can see that uh, this person has uh, 352 uh, positive feedback. Positive feedback is 99.4% positive. If I go to his profile, um, him or her, uh, you can see there's only three negative and 450 positive. Uh, these three negative are for proxy cards, but that was six months ago, and that is Pokemon. Uh, let me go to the negatives for a sec. I could show you. Um, so in the last month, there was 89 positive reviews on this user and no negative, no neutral. Uh, but six months ago, there was a, a few neutrals and a few negatives. If I go to the negatives, you can see it was also for fake cards. But these were actually Pokemon cards. So um, looks like there was just two users. So this was one user who said he was selling fake Pokemon cards and then another user said he's sell selling fake Poke car Pokemon cards as well, but that was six months ago. So in the last six months, I don't see any negative reviews on um, fake cards. So if I go to the neutral ones, it's just about uh, uh, shipping and getting charged extra for shipping. And then this person says they bought a proxy card. It said proxy but they didn't realize it was fake. So that's not quite as bad as selling a fake card as a real card. At least he listed that it was proxy, uh, even though that's that's not supposed to be done either. That should be reported too. Uh, but in the last six months, I don't see any negative reviews of, of fake cards from this user. Uh, I haven't put my negative review yet for this purchase because uh, it actually does, it makes me wait seven days after after purchase to give a negative review to a power user, eBay power user. Uh, so I'll be putting that review in the next uh, few days after the seven day period is up. Uh, so if you look at this person, you'll, you'll be able to see my negative review in the next few days. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's the user. Uh, you should probably avoid them. I don't think they're selling all uh, fake cards. If you look at their listing uh, listings, I don't think, uh, I don't think all their items for sale are proxies like these cheaper cards I would say are probably real so I'm not sure if he was just trying to see if he can get away with selling a fake card without anyone noticing uh, that might have been what it is um, maybe most of the listings are real it's hard to tell uh, but these are more of the cheaper cheaper cards so I would I would guess that these are real um, and maybe he just tried to, to sell one a little bit more expensive card, $24, and see if you can get away with selling uh, some counterfeit magic cards. I'm not sure. So maybe most of the items he's selling are probably real, but just uh, be careful. Um, make sure you check your cards with a jeweler's uh, loop. If you don't have one, you should get one. And then um, compare it with a real card if you have one and see if there's any color differences. And other than that, yeah, that's you just have to deal with sometimes you're going to get fake cards on eBay that you have to uh, get refund from. So yeah, that's it. Be careful.